So if you're not able to log into your LABSD account, uh, you will need to reset your password. Uh, in order to reset your password, you go to mylogin.labusd.net. Uh, I'll put the link under this video. Uh, you can just click on it and directly go to this website. And then once you go here, you select the student. Um, before you needed to have your student PIN, which is a four digit number to reset your password. Now there are other options that you can choose. So you can either choose district ID and your PIN if you have that. If you don't, you can choose to either use district ID or your PIN, or you can choose just to uh, put your email address and your birthday. So let's look at these options. So the first option is if you have your four digit PIN number. I, so open the link, click on I agree, accept, and then you put your district ID here, for example, and then your birth date. Pay attention that you need to put four digits for the year. So for example, if you're born in 2004, you need to put 2004. So let's and put that and then your pin again your pin is a four digit number for example three four four three um, that number you could ask your teachers but if you don't have it don't worry there are other options so for example i could use uh, either district id or my pin number so that option here, you put your email address, for example, uh, at mymail.lausd.net, and then you put your birthday. Again, pay attention that you need to put four digits for the year, and your district ID. So here, you don't need your PIN number if you have your district ID. You can just put your district ID. Then you click next and then you can reset your password. Uh, last option, you can use it if you only know your email address and birth date. So that is, so I put my email address. And then your birthday again, the four digits for the year, and then you can validate student and reset your password. If none of these options work, you can always contact ITD Help Desk uh, or one of your teachers. So again, you have three options to reset your password. You have to choose student. If you have your PIN number, you can choose the first option. If you have your district ID, you can use the second option. If you only have your email and your birthday, you could use the third option.